five stocks I'm buying like crazy in January 2024. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Happy to be back, guys. Real quick, before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel so we can hit 1,000 and we can get started. If you guys caught this video, this was more of a long-term video, right? My top stocks for 2024, kind of like the image uh, right there, the, the basing pattern, stage one, right? I was looking at reversals, kind of stocks that are bottoming out now that I think are going to be bullish in 2024 because they were not bullish in 2023. In other words, they haven't participated, but they have changing fundamentals, growing earnings, and a nice bullish reversal chart pattern. Today's video, as always, we do the monthly video. Um, so I'm going to do the January video, which is a lot more short term. Those of you who follow the channel know we make this video every month. Six stocks I'm buying like crazy in December, etc. So this one's a lot more short term. And guys, again, make sure to subscribe. Let's get to it. Where are we? Well, we're down about 3% from the December close to today's candle in terms of the indices or the NASDAQ, the QQs here to start off the year, right? We were we're at all time highs and now we're pulling back right we've completed this large cupping pattern and like i told you guys we had the smaller cup and we did the handle the five wave structure into the 200 moving average we held i'm expecting a wave two which is you know the second leg right here and i think we're gonna have a very bullish 2024 i explained this many times right we're in line with the bitcoin having cycle we're in line with the presidential cycle that four-year election which over the stock markets 200 or the past 200 years has pretty much um you know been most of the time on point where as it's an election year it's going to be a bullish bullish year and so all these things are lining up and breaking to all-time highs is a bullish event in and of itself so where are we going to find support well we're going to look to hold the 21 moving average just like we did back here right back here boom we had a rally 21 moving average had another rally all-time highs pulling back to the 21 moving average now we are below it so it's a bit of a shakeout and we do have these pink dots showing up on jupiter orbit so there's a chance we might test that 50. But either way, um, we're bullish. This is just a corrective pattern until proven otherwise, right? I'm looking for the 21 hold because that's where we are now, right? In other words, if we can get a big bullish candle tomorrow and end up printing a morning star pattern to reclaim that 21, then I'm going to be pretty bullish for for next week, right? If if we come down and we, if we don't get that right, then, you know, hey, I understand that this might be that first test of the 50. First test of the 50 in a bullish trend is always a nice buying opportunity, right? first test of the 21 same thing right and so that that's always that's also in play if you look at the volume we have big red volume bars we're losing green volume on this all-time high we have jorbit divergence because we had green dots went higher with no green dots so that was kind of bearish divergence now we've come down on volume and we have pink dots showing up so that combined with the heavy red pendulum getting larger you know pretty good indication that, yeah there's a good chance we're going to test that 50 here but again if we print a bullish engulf in here and end up printing that morning star i'll be pretty bullish going into next week and and, and i think we can hold that 20 one maybe one more time to retest these highs so kind of be aware of where we are prepare for anything but be, be ready for um you know kind of uh, any scenario right if we look at the vix we like to buy stocks when the vix is high when it's down here at the lows it's more risky when we come up into resistance good time to buy stocks so we're back at that 50 day moving average resistance for the vix so pay attention to this and how this candle closes today if we can find the sellers here and and, and this can come back down then it's going to be a bullish week next week for stocks as well but hey there's a good chance we're going to rally a bit further here into the 100 into the 200 day even and present other buying opportunities for the stock market that being said let's jump right into it looks like uh the crypto stocks and the miners are recovering here today a bit of a red day for the evs my number one stock for january is rocket lab now this is one that also showed up on my 2024 list because if you zoom out um this thing is bottoming here it's been bottoming for three years right we went over that in that video so you can go check that out i also have the bull case on rocket lab 30 minute video on why i'm so bullish on this company in the long term you guys like that video but this makes all the videos right because it's also a short-term buying opportunity not just bottoming out in the macro in the long-term two-year base but in the short term we have this head and shoulders right Right? We made higher highs on strong volume here. We have the news of the $500 million contract with the U.S. government. And right, we've pulled right back to the 200 moving average. And what happened, right? We pulled back on three small bearish candles with small volume. And look how the bulls are defending. Look how they're stepping in. This happened last time, right? Last time we tested that, we gapped up, retested 200, bull stepped in and bought it. Bulls are stepping in and buying it again. And we're getting that moving average crossover. In other words, that golden cross. So this is exactly what you like to see. You want to see today's volume bar be bigger than the three previous days 
so that's looking good so far but a nice bullish hold so for me this is a nice higher high you know on higher highs we want to see volume and momentum and we measure momentum with green jorbit dots unfortunately we didn't get a lower time frame jupiter pendulum tag so keep that in mind it's not perfect but it's pretty good we have the volume and the green dots we're just missing the green dots on a jupu so when we do break higher here past six you know six dollars you want to see at least that lower time frame jupiter pendulum tag to confirm that you can stay in this position for a longer time right back here um you know the, the lower time we were red on the lower time frame jupu we started to break out break out and you started to see these green tags on a jupiter pendulum as of now it's still tagged red on both the daily time frame up here and the lower time frame down here again on higher highs you want to see green dots on the chart and you want to see the jupiter pendulum at least the lower time frame start to turn green with volume that's a pullback you want to buy that's a pullback into support you want to buy almost perfect but we don't have that right head and shoulders pattern broke the neckline pullback retest volume volume looks good everything looks pretty good right so you can ride this in january you know you'd have your stops below today's candle or below the 200 moving average and you know if you can retest those highs you have a lot of room for potential short-term gains there so what am i looking at next semiconductors are pulling on back here in terms of the, the you know the etf back to the 50 it's actually a chinese company this time that for me is the most interesting chart setup right if you look at MSN, smci super microcomputers this thing broke out this thing was one of the strongest stocks of last year right this thing went absolutely ballistic i mean we were back here and it looked like it was done right it looked like it had it had this giant run from under ten dollars to 45 dollars right and it was consolidating it was getting wide and choppy and then it just went absolutely ballistic, you know, and then ballistic again in 2023, just straight verdict. Now that stopped, that kind of topped out in August. It needs some time to digest that move, right? From 91 to $350, right? Over a 3X, almost a 4X move, pretty much a 4X move, right? And so it's had time to digest, test the moving averages. Buyers are showing you that they're gonna come in and defend that 100 day moving average. They've done that already four or five times. And at this point in time, we've consolidated. We did not tag red on the lower time frame, Jupu on the way down. We have some divergence as we have pink dots, but then we've made lower lows with no pink dots. That's bullish divergence. Now we're coming up, green dots are showing up, higher high, holding moving average again. So shake out, now higher high, breaking out higher high, breaking out of the triangle, more green dots, pulling back to the moving averages buyers are trying to hold here we have pendulum divergence so for me this looks pretty good in terms of semiconductor plays or chinese stocks um whichever one you have both narratives um if you're looking for a company there smci is one to look for you can see their sales kind of doubled here in the past couple of years earnings have you know more than tripled so that is number two next up on the list is a couple of fintech stocks we made the bull case for robin hood this is a stock that is bottoming right these growth stocks they didn't really participate in the 2023 bull market so my theory is money's gonna we're gonna see a rotation right out of big tech out of the kind of the magnificent seven into more of these growth stocks as the bull market accelerates and we're seeing that begin right we're seeing robin hood try to break out of this long-term base it made higher highs strong pendulum strong volume right like you know very strong volume almost all-time high cluster volume this is what you want to look for on this breakout this is that first pullback to the 21 day moving average you can see gap down but trade up gap down again trade up strongly bulls are trying to defend here bit, bit of a heavy red pendulum for my taste um so you could wait for that but as of now um you know if you close that candle for me it's it's a pretty decent entry for continuation you could wait for a pullback to the 50 uh, but you guys you know that's how trading works right you might have to give a trade a couple of shots um try it a couple of different times when when a setup presents itself that you're comfortable taking right take your risk into account and um and your setups right when we're still on the fintech side of things there's two more i want to talk about pfizer and ali now these two are not pulling back they're actually showing tremendous relative strength these things are really consolidating really tightly you always want to look for tight price action especially when the market's pulling back um this is showing relative strength it's not pulling back it's really tightly holding that 10-day moving average right sometimes you pull back to the 21 sometimes you consolidate tightly sideways that the 21 catches up to price when you're so extended from the 21 either way it's not a good time to buy especially when you have a red shade flip um but you know in this case it's caught up and price is trading very neatly here um so i think there's an interesting entry opportunity here you're looking for fintech showing tremendous strength and at all-time highs Pfizer is something you might want to pay attention to for this bull flag. Solid fundamentals there. Another one is Ally Financial. Ally Financial, solid revenue or sales growth here. 
earnings are on the downside. So if you take earnings into account, you might want to go with Pfizer. But this one's, you know, consolidating even tighter, right? This one is right, you know, bull flagging, high tight flagging right into that 10 day moving average. It could provide you a nice entry opportunity. I wouldn't enter on a red candle. Of course, you're gonna have an inside bar you could take, but I'd wait for a bullish candle for entry. And so you have to let this one develop a little bit more, but an interesting scenario nonetheless. If you're looking for a fintech that is showing strength as opposed to you know, fintechs that are pulling on back. So it depends on what kind of setups you're more interested in. I have two more here. We have Roku, which just announced, um, you know, some new TV, a lineup of new TVs. They're launching a 55 inch and and some and a few others. But Roku is a, a stock that kind of trades like a crypto. This thing is so volatile. I mean, this thing has some huge moves. This was a 93% move off this green shade flip. Uh, and again, all these shade flip alerts go straight into the Discord. So some of our traders caught these, traded very nicely, you know, tight flag into the 10 day, you know, second round, higher highs. Again, it's volatile, that's gonna work both ways, right? This is a 22% pullback now. You have double green shades with divergence. This one's one that's not quite ready yet, but it's really setting up. I'm really looking for that second shade flip. Of course, that's when the shade turns off and the pendulum goes from red to green. If we have another opportunity like this previous double green shade flip, right here with divergence, then it could be a pretty interesting trade for January. Retesting the highs is already 20%. Jorbit divergence is coming in here. Maybe you wanna wait for a close above the 50. Maybe you wanna wait for a shakeout or a test of the 100. But either way, I'd wait for the shade flip to see you know what the setup looks like when it presents itself. Lastly, Spotify, another one It's you know, this one hasn't gone absolutely vertical, ballistic, but just really clean, just, you know, staggering up, right? Taking the stairs along the 10 day, nice gap up there on volume, nice volume, right? Low volume on the pullback, the, the pendulum is divergent, double green shades, and it looks like it's going for the shade flip today. Has a lot of elements you might like, like a shake up below the 21, uh, bulls bought it up, nice strong candle today, Jorbit thought appearing again. And again, that's gonna be a shade flip alert today on the Discord, you know, when, when the market closes, it'll post. And Shopify, you know, another kind of growth stock here. A lot of room to go in, in the short to long term as well, in the longer term, but in the short term, you know, you know, looking good. Set up for January. So another nice flag into the 21. We're gonna take a look at their sales here, you know, up about 20% in the past few years. And the earnings looks like the bigger story here as they were trending in the wrong direction. And it looks like somewhat of a surprise probably on, on positive earnings there for the most recent quarter. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you appreciate this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so we can reach 1,000 subs. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.